top of you. We gonna go taunt someone. We're gonna go rub it in someone's face. What do you want? What do I want? I wanna taunt this guy. Hey, Schizo. How's it going in there? You like your new digs? Deke? Deke? Talk to me, brother. You know why I did it. No. First of all, no, I, do I not. am your brother. And yeah, I do know why you did it. Oh, Dave, come on, damn it. It wasn't personal. You gotta know that. There was no other way. Talk to Iron Mike, please. You tell him. Tell him I was just trying to save the camp. That's all I ever wanted. Oh, I'ma talk to Iron Mike. As soon as they find your ass guilty, I'm asking him to give you to me. Come midnight, me and Boozer, we're gonna tie you up. I'm gonna put you in the middle of the highway, and we're gonna wait for a horde. Deke, you gotta listen to me, brother! What do you suppose that feels like, huh? Torn apart? Eaten alive? Deke, I was just trying to stop Carlos, stop the Rippers, and keep this camp safe! This is our life, Deke! You know what? I think we're gonna do that whether they find you guilty or not. Goodbye, Schizo. Yeah! You know, like your new digs? <laughs> Dick! Dick! Damn it, listen to me, Dick! I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do it, but I had to. And I didn't mean for it to go down this way. Dick! Listen to me! Dick! <laughs> what you get fucking turning us in? I gotta get this deck cord. Schizo's cabin. Let's see what you got, Schizo, old buddy. You're like a bunch of Alzheimer's patients. So... Oh, piss... Jeez. How do I ever trust this asshole? I know it's like a post-apocalyptic world, but damn. Clean up your digs, man. Hello. What is this? Guess Skizzit won't be needing this. Absolutely not, he won't. Well, only one name on my shit list, Skizzo. Hmm. Yours. We're learning a little bit about Skizzo. Oh, he had porn. Yeah, he won't be needing that. Graduated with honors, what? I knew he wasn't a gangbanger. I worked at the Humane Society, had a small office, and a dog pen and out. Was there anything else in there? No, there's nothing else. Had maybe a hundred dogs. Strays mostly. A few had She's just talking through me through the door. <laughs> Me. All right, well, if we have to sneak, you know we're not the best at this, so it's going to probably take a couple tries. No, don't mind me. Just carrying a box. A box full of nothing. Oh, and that's what I mean, because I didn't buy the 249 yet, or the machine gun. Because I picked up that sniper, I no longer have that machine gun. So I really have to get in with... Yep. So if I look in here... Got the shotgun now, special. See, I don't have the 249 anymore. Which sucks. Oh, what do we got here? <laughs> you two were always so close. Yeah, you really were like a brother and sister. What do we got here?
Gotta go see Addy. Get this arm fixed up. Yep. They took our tattoo. <sighs> oh. Mm. I can't do this anymore. It's okay, I'm fine. What's going on? I'm a goddamn veterinarian. I went to school to cure colic and heaves and hoof diseases. This look like a fucking hoof to you. Addy, no, Addy. you saw what happened to Boozer. I can't do this. Hey, shh. There's so many wounded Addy. and so many dying. Addy. Deacon, I am not a doctor. Okay, maybe not. But you're all we've got. Fix my arm, please. So Addy's not a doctor, huh? Okay, so you're not a doctor, you still save Boozer's life. That's got a comfort. Hey, Deke. So I want to go check on the explosives to make sure, you know, the Rippers didn't steal them, and then I went to Schizo's cabin to check on the deck cords, but I should have just come straight here and saved some time. Get the hell out of here, Ricky. Guess we can go blow up that cave, right? I'll come with you. When I was a kid, my dad found a rat's nest underneath one of our sheds. You want to know what he did? Can't even guess. Well, I waited till morning. They'd all be asleep. He laid a piece of plywood over the hole and told me to go get the garden hose. And he said to me, I never forget what he said to me. He said the best way to kill a rat's nest is to drown him. You can blow up the reservoir above the camp? Oh, that's an idea. Deacon, you can't. They want to rest in De peace, I'm going to help them out. Deacon, you can't do that. Why is that? Because Iron Mike? This is some fucking treaty. You know, I want to cut Schizo's throat, but he's right about one thing. Carlos ain't going to stop. Rippers ain't going to stop. And you know it. Are you sure this isn't personal? Fuck yeah, it's personal. Definitely it is. Boozer, I'm heading to the gate. You ready? Way ahead of you, brother. Okay, I'm almost there. Nice rifle. Oh, yeah, a little present from Schizo. Remind me to be there when you give it back to him. Well, you'll be there. <laughs> All right, Boozer, keep that arm away from me. Goddamn schizo. So what are we gonna do with the bastard? I mean, we're not letting Iron Mike put him on trial, are we? No, we're not. All right, so what's the plan? I know the area pretty well. Sarah, um, she worked out of a lab south of Iron Butte Ranch. I used to ride out there, pick her up for lunch. Harder to ride on some of those back roads. Jesse, Carlos, Whatever the hell he's calling himself. He's taken over the old golf course and resort. Just south of the lodge is the Crescent Lake Reservoir. Now we blow that dam, that lake's gonna flood down into the valley and it's gonna drown them all, like rats. Okay, but isn't the lodge up on a hill? Yeah, yeah, flood probably won't do much to it, but it'll do enough damage to the rest of the Ripper compound to take out most of his men. And if Jesse survives, you won't see us coming. You got it. Now we just got to figure out how to get into the Iron Butte Valley without being seen, yeah? I'll get us there. You just hang on. I'm kind of upset that I don't have my machine gun no more. Combat going. Headshot. 
Oh, I just stabbed him in the ass. Who's there? Where you at? Yeah, get down, boy. More rippers. I got him. Oh, that's not gonna have no ammo for it. We dropped me band-aids, thanks. Let's get down. How am I missing? Come on. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Right behind you. I can use this. Oh, gotta search the bodies. We'll heal up. Got it. Finally. Yeah, because you got no, not much of a choice there. Woo! And we didn't crash. That's great. Take this bag of explosives down there and ask him if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing him the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Skizzo's rifle and keep him off me while I set the charges. Oh, hold, hold on. Look, I got this. I'm not much good in a firefight, but I can plant these charges. I've said that. There you go, Boozer. I love the spirit. Love it. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. We're doing this? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna need ammo. Okay, I'm gonna be up in this tower. Should give me a good view of the entire dam. Where's this tower you speak of? Right up there, all right. Done. Alright, I'm moving on to the next one. 
Nice job, booze man. Keep going. Ah, kind of busy here. You got him? Ah, tank! Rippers! I see him. So what do you think, Deke? You want me to go ahead and kill all the Rippers while I'm trying to set charges? And I'm setting the second charge. Done. I wish I had a blade hand. Facts. And that's it. You got this. I miss. Oh, where's the sniper at? Oh, hey, hey did we just trade? Yeah, we traded. I got him. Okay, what do you say? I do my job and you Booze, do yours. Booze, I'm trying. Come on. Hey, I got this. You just get the charges planted. Fourth charge. That's the last of them. Run, Boozer! I'm going as fast as I can. We did it first try. Already. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> My arm. <laughs> well, that never gets old, does it? <sighs> Let's, uh... Let's go find Jesse. Not too bad of a rifle, though. Brother, you, uh, you did a hell of a job back there. Yeah? yeah? I thought I was done for a couple of times. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. What the hell are you talking about? This is the most alive I've felt since... Ah, uh, shit. You remember when we got trapped by that horde in Tumalo? We ain't done yet. How many do you think we killed? I don't know. They had it coming, right? Yeah, they had it coming. Guess we all do. Alright, 
Looks like we go in on foot from here. You wanna stay? Keep any stray rippers from ripping off my bike? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. And fuck that. This? Oh yeah, we gotta get him. Son Jesse. You wanted some payback? Yes, sir. I'll show him some fucking payback. Come on, let's head to the lodge. Like I said, right behind you. Jesus. This must be what it looked like after Noah's flood. Damon washed away all the wicked. Yeah, except God had nothing to do with this one. Yeah. You get my point. Four rippers. How the hell did they survive? That's a breaker. Okay, oh, at least we got a checkpoint.
find Jesse. Oh yeah. It's time to finish what we started. Now, these guys seem more jacked up than usual. Oh yeah. You must have snorted up the rest of whatever the hell drug they take. There's no way you're getting up there. <laughs> Child. Damn it. Here. No. I'll boost you up. Okay, listen. If something happens to me, there's a trail not far from here. You no, 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 no. Listen, that is not Carlos up there, okay? Not this founder, rest in peace. It's fucking Jesse Williamson. Fucking low-life piece of shit scumbag who got what was coming Kill to him. him. All right. Now you fucking go up there and kill that Damn son right, of a bitch. Just for you. Come on, D. Please give us drugs. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Time to get low, brother! Time to get low! Oh, my fight. Deacon St. John. Brought low by the lowly Jesse Williamson. Brought low. Oh, what the heck? Do you remember back in the day? You and Boozer held me down while Jack burned the flesh from my back. Alright, Carlos, you got what you wanted. Ain't gonna happen a couple more times. Is there like oh god? Taking Saint Charles by the lowly Jesse. Okay. Do you remember back in the day? You and Boozer held me down while Jack burned the flesh from my back. Those, those memories kept me from being free. Jack, Jack thought I was crazy. But I knew, I knew what you were. I was one of them! What is it you did? You see the scars on my flesh? The scars that kept me from being a hound. Yeah, that's it! There we go! Shit, I knew! Alright. Alright, thank you. Oh, the scars. Oh. Dodge, good job. Let's get him. Get him, get him. So, oh, yes, yes, come on, come on. You missed. He saw some help. Get him, get him, get him, get him. shit again, you know. I gotta say, shoveling shit and you know, pulling weeds. I know maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. Well, with Jesse gone, how many you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. Probably little to none. No one. 
Bruce said there's no one left. Shit. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Me too. Come on, let's get the yeah, fuck yeah, out I said, I, I know we haven't talked in a few years. I guess I disfigured with my Elizabeth being there with you and all. Probably wasn't much point in me yammering away at you. Oh, and then, with all hell breaking loose, I, I thought maybe you weren't there. Or you just didn't give a shit. Pardon my language. I guess that's why I'm here. Say, I still don't know. I hope you're there. Hope there's some reason for all this shit we're living through. That's all. We'll, we'll talk again some other time. Oh, um, amen. Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Uh, nah, it's just these knees of mine, you know. It's reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shit storm in Sherman's camp. But now, after all this, I just thought, hell, I, maybe it, now it's the time. I, uh, I didn't have a choice, Mike. Oh, everybody's got a choice, Deke. Until they're dead. It's either us or them. <laughs> it's always us or them. Always. You know the reason we're going to hell? Is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us. All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't going to change that. Wishing that it was something else Ain't gonna make it that way, Mike. Wish it ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I let him go. Schizo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him go. Told him to ride out, not come back. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Mike, you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. I stopped another killing. And you know what? I guess I'm good with that. Hmm. <sighs> Iron Mike. Hmm. Can't say I can agree with you on that one. Hey, Deacon. Buzz. Two dollars a few. All right, I got you. Uh, you did performance. We did buy everything, correct? Yep. We did buy everything, okay? Okay. Should have new shit later. Stop by. Hey, Deke. What's up, Joe? Hey, I heard. So we got that you one. You know? I mean, pretty much for free. What you did for us, how you. The Rippers, all of them. I just. I know you had to do it. What else was gonna stop them, you know? Nothing. Yeah, look, Blair, I'm not proud of what I had to do. You know that, mm. right? I mean, it had 
we had to. You killed <sighs> Carlos. Look. With prejudice. They were coming. Yeah, yeah, I know. You don't have to explain anything to me. I was here when they attacked, remember? It's a nice table. I, I don't know. I guess I'm just tired, you know? Yeah, I know. Hey, Deke. Um, you be careful out there. Thanks. No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Uh, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up Sarah. property. Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. <laughs> hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say. I'm just here you to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. I can hey, hey, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I didn't know that. It's fine. Honestly, shooting. I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim. Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. <laughs> Sarah. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? With you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Klamath State and visit Jack. So you're going to blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Kind of weird seeing Sarah drive a bike. Uh, oh, shit, look out. oh god! Oh my god! <sighs> Jesus! I don't know what it is, but every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, twice listen. Now. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... <sighs> no, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What, what, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. Oh, I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. What? No. No, Matt? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved. Aw, Deacon. Deacon, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know. And if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah. I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Uh, these okay. cutscenes, man, just puts a <laughs> smile on your face. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. <laughs> so, uh, do you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just 
I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Ooh, she's rebellious. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they... are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone Nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel. Uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. Miss Whitaker's return. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you. Says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. Woo! It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come, Dad? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Addy, I'm sorry. Whatever. Addy, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. Come on, O'Brien. This is St. Just goddamn it's radio. Let's goddamn go. Goddamn radio. St. John. You again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you there was Shut up, shut up, do. shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. I don't so think that just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay. Oh, I got like I'm all hate. Remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Brian out. <sighs> so, uh, a couple months ago, we were up by Crazy Willie's. And just like that, we have nothing besides this side mission, which we're gonna go do. We're gonna fast travel. Now we're gonna go fill up now. We're in wolf country again. This whole place is wolf country. Hey, hey, open up! Hey. Yeah, yeah, booze man, what's up? I just, I just wanted to say thanks for the dog. It's no worries, brother. I mean, it, it followed me, you know? Wouldn't leave me alone, what was I supposed to do? Hey, hey, get down, hey. Yeah, sure it followed you. Hey, uh, I named him Jack. <laughs> yeah, Jack would have loved that. Uh, no, he wouldn't have, which is why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, easy, easy, boy. All right, all right, enough, enough. Okay, Deke, I gotta go. Boozer out. You're welcome. We're gonna run out of this someday, you know. Yeah, yeah, but I'm gonna use it as I can. Okay, then. Okay, we got the fuel. Hey, see you, Deke. Hey, a Deacon, right? How's the bike business going, Zanny? Don't really care, Zanny. We out. Yeah, hold on, Deke. I got it. St. John, this is Brian. Brian, what do you got? I need to see you in person. Just, would you tell me what you found is ish? Is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. O'Brien. I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien. God damn it. Where does O'Brien need us to go? Dick. Iron Mike's looking for you. He said. 
Booze man, listen. Just uh, tell him I'll be back. Is that I gotta... a bear? You remember what I told you? Um, the night that yep. Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds, people who had federal clearance levels. Dick, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing. It's something I gotta do. Deacon out. Alright, we're still gonna do this little side quest. And then we're gonna go track down O'Brien. Ada Tucker to Deacon St. John. Come in. Deke, you yes. out there? Hey, Tuck. Uh, you got a job for me? Okay. I'll swing by. Deacon out. Information. What information, O'Brien? What could you possibly have left to say? Hey, Deke. you stop yeah. by? Ricky, yeah, I'll bet you got a job with me. Uh, okay, I'll stop by. You can up. New skill point, yes! Oh, we got two skill points. Nice. Alright, now we have unlocked tier 5. Yep, I'm going to get those two. Are we able to craft some meds finally? Yeah. We've been like sitting on a full inventory. Okay. Craft up these. Oh, I'm going to craft up. This is Radio Free Oregon. I do not want to hear it. Uh, hey. Copeland. Me again. I know. I know. It's uh, been a while since I've been up here. It's just, um... When did you have time to pick these? Okay, we uh, had a run-in with the Rippers, uh, with Carlos. See, um, turns out Carlos is actually this two-bit hood we knew from before. Back in the day, he was a fully patched member of the MC. Yeah, I know. What are the odds of him surviving? Jesse goddamn Williamson when so many others died. And uh, I never told you what happened to Jesse. Uh, well, you know, because you hate it when I talk about club shit. So let's just say that some bad shit went down. Really bad shit. Jack, he, uh, he, well, he kicked Jesse out of the club, but you can't take your colors with you see that, that's a problem so problem is jesse had a mongrel's tat on his back just like mine you know so yeah me and boozer jersey jim we held him down while jack uh took a welding torch to uh to his back well <laughs> i'm not proud of it i'm not proud of it i i never told you because um uh, I knew that you would never be with someone who could do something like that. And, uh, hey, you know, I would tell you that I've changed, but at this point, there's, there's no reason to lie to you anymore. I killed him. Jesse. We did indeed. I had to. I mean, this guy was a goddamn yes, psychopath. and a drug addict. But, uh... Major. We didn't stop with him. Boozer and I, we, we blew him up. The Rippers, we blew up their camp, we drowned them like a bunch of sorry rats, and you know what? I'm not sorry. I just thought you should know. Okay. I gotta go. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. The war on terror? Yeah. Copeland, you ruined woman. the moment. None of that matters now that we're in the sh- It. But it's all just part of the goddamn conspiracy. So listen up. The war on terror. Was just smoke and mirrors started by good old uncle sam using war as an excuse to look for weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist and global warming just a bunch of lying scientists well in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom now you think about it all of this just another way to build unrest in the people yeah sure whatever you say ah we have to travel to his camp Actually, we will travel to the Nero so we can fill up.
fuel. Yes. Filling up the tank. That should be it. I need to go the other way. Maybe. I know I'm going to regret this. But here we go. Oh, we did it. <laughs> if you go the wrong way, you can ride down the so waterfall. So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust to let me unhappy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. Where did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. The wife bugged out with a recon unit east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No. Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago, local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh, I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now. They're gonna get worse. A lot worse. That's not good. That is not good. You got some explaining to do. I go to hell, O'Brien. I don't give a shit about any of that food. But we are going to. Oh, we get to go up there again. Mine as well. And get this. Uh... Shit about any of that. Boozer? Booze man, come back. Yeah, Dean. Hey, listen, listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south, but the Santium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. Dean, Iron Mike, he's, he's not too happy with us right now. I mean, just listen to me, just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Iron Mike? Yeah, he was, he was bragging about knowing every goat trail in a hundred miles. Said there was a, a trail that went around Mount 
Teal soon. Um, the Teal's, I don't know, something. Tealson! Tealson, yeah, that's it. Tealson, pass. Yeah, well, why the hell you... Wait, Nero. Shit. You, you've talked to... She's alive? Sarah's alive? Deke? Okay, listen to me. O'Brien, they, uh... Boozer, he found her ID badge. Yeah, Boozer, uh... I, I think that she's alive. Deke. Well, you never lost hope. You always knew. You never gave up. So what are you gonna do? We're gonna go know. down there. Boozer. I don't know. Absolutely uh, but... going down there. God, if there's even a chance that she's alive, I... Well... I gotta find her. Goddamn right. Uh, shit, I, I gotta go. Uh, Ricky and Andy need, need help putting up a shelf or some goddamn thing. Look, I, I'll see you when you get back to camp. Who's her out? Okay, okay, see you, booze, man. Oh, oh you, you're out of gas. Yes. There you go. Check back. And we need to max out... <laughs> see you. ...their trust as soon as possible, because I want my what gun back. Deke, uh, I got a job for you. <laughs> One only you can handle. What do you got? You remember oh, we're the other super day close. I took you by the dig site? Food came up missing? Yeah, Wheeler was on watch. He was doing more than watching. He was robbing us blind. He and a few men took off to a camp north of Patchens Lake. You know yes. the one? Yeah, I know it. Find the bastard and kill him. He's got a pocket watch. Still works. Bring it to me. Wheeler, got it. Okay, Wheeler. Oh, look at that. We're going in that direction already. What can I get for you? Hey, Zanny, keeping your hands clean. Here, I got it. Deacon, where are you? Hey, Ricky. Um, I I got some shit I gotta take care of. Are you coming back? Yes. Am I coming back? What, what do you What do you mean? Who's your told us? Who <sighs> told you? Okay, look, there's nothing to tell. There's no way over the Sanium Pass, you know that. Yes, yes, I'm coming back. Listen, like I said, I got some shit to do. Deacon out. Oh, no. Hello! This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It has come to my attention. This is it. This is gonna be Boomer's camp. Do a headshot and bam! Oh, right over the head. Got him. Got him through that little hole. That was good. Another, them damn bear traps.
Don't mind if I do. All right, let's get that. I see red. That doesn't sound good. Nice, oh, those are bad ones. Well, that was good that we took those bad boys down. Three. No, thank you. And we will. Oh, we can't forget about Sarah. I know you can drive all the way up here. Is that your ring? Hi. Uh, I guess it's kind of pointless to uh, say anything since I know that you uh, didn't die out here. It's just a habit, I guess. But um, coming out here every so often, talking to you, uh, it was uh, the only thing that kept me sane. You know? So this so, is why we uh, can't kill people with this damn knife. Because you'll be here cutting into a rock, making it dull. <laughs> yeah, okay. Take your damn ring back, too. See, you almost forgot it. But I got you, Deacon. I reminded you. Ooh, boy. Feeling nice? Let's see a little smirk. All right, now let's ride back. At least there's no wolves that like, spawned in on me. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Let me tell you, before this shit, we were numb and we were dumb. We were blindly taking in opiates of all kinds, keeping us sedated like fat, happy cows. Candy, television, booze, heroin, and it worked. But now, well, help you? we're feeling the pain. All Tucker, I got him. Nice job. I guess Wheeler's sorry he messed with Ada Tucker now. No, I'm guessing he's not feeling a whole lot of anything. <laughs> I've updated your credits. And you wait and see. I'm still gonna find a way to talk you and Boozer nope, into joining there's us absolutely here. nothing Become you can do to make family. a stay. Yeah, good luck with that. We're so close! Maybe I got enough ears and stuff to sell. We're so close. I don't think I have enough ears to get like that much, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> I don't have very much ears. Oh, that guy actually got me quite a bit. Sure. Hey. Less than a thousand off. That's it. Ah, we're so close. I don't want to leave here yet. What can I get for you? Hey, Zanny. Can I help you? Get to work. You'll, you'll be okay. <laughs> What can we do around here? I know one thing we could do. 
It's gonna suck. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna just throw that bad boy in there. We're gonna go fight that horde in that cave. Hey, Deacon. Hey, Alka. What? Come on, Deacon. You need yes. something? Supplies. Ammo. Thanks. Can I get anything else for you? Yeah, what else can I do for you? I need another one of those. Inventory full. Come by if you still need something. You want anything else? Hopefully taking out that horde is going to do enough for us to get yeah. to level three. Hey, how's it going? amount of times that you go through this and I still went the wrong way. Position and about right here. So I come run back. machine gun.
last one. No, we got a couple more stragglers. At least we'll get ears out of all of this. I can't craft none of them more, but I got some grenades. Go. Just what we needed. There we go. We did that with one gun. <laughs> oh boy. That was nerve wracking. And we did it first try. We're getting some real good improvements here. We're gonna go down to the water and get some of those ears. What, only one? All right, I picked it up. Now we go back to Tucker's camp and upgrade the crap out of our stuff. At least weapons wise. Does more damage? It does. So we're getting this one. You can use a gun like that. I don't know. I never was really a fan of the pistol. Why aren't you working? But hey, this is what we want right there. That's Whew. a good one. I can't wait. Yeah, so that does do more damage, which is good. Hey, We're gonna fill up our ammo bag. We're gonna buy this Here mag. You go. This mag. Good piece. Should help this out in the shit. Fill up on those. What else can I do for you? Since we're probably not coming back here. Else? There's good gonna be choice. very few things that make us come back here. Come by if you few. still need something. You want anything else? Come see me. Bet you're here for your bike, right? Hey, Zanny. Okay. Hey, always good to see you, D. Oh, yeah, we fixed our bike, so. Come on, get to it. Start what can I get for you? How's the bike business going, Zanny? <laughs> 